Hello friend, gaming is something that I, as well as I'm sure many of you enjoy. Some people manage to find a game they like and put in hundreds, even thousands of hours into them, learning about every single nook and cranny, every mechanic, the math behind it, and try out every single thing the game has to offer. Be it different builds, different classes, different storylines and endings, they do everything. And when everything is done, they look to modded content to get their fix. And oh boy is that a whole new world. But for many of us, we get tired of playing the same game over and over again, even if we genuinely like and enjoy it. For some, it comes early, maybe a couple of hours in. I tend to experience this for games that go by sessions or rounds, games like Brotato, Risk of Rain, or even games like Apex Legends. Well, maybe it's also cause I'm bad at PvP and I can't shoot for nuts. Anyway, for others, it comes a little later, maybe after 80 hours or so, or after they've beaten the main storyline if there is one. Regardless of which category you fall in, when we reach that point, well, what do we do now? Do we take a break? Do we find a similar game? After all, it's not like we didn't enjoy the game, we did have some fun. We just got tired of the game. Maybe something in the same genre would help us find the urge to game again. Or should we swing wildly and try a game in a whole new different genre? Which do you tend to do? In the past, I used to look for similar games when I got tired of one. I stuck very comfortably to certain genres of games because they just appealed to me for some reason. For example, after trying out Enter the Gungeon for a bit, I moved on to other games in the roguelike genre, trying out games like Undermine, Skull the Hero Slayer, Hades, Neon Abyss, and so on. Even after I got tired of Terraria, I looked to other sandbox adventure crafting survival like games like Minecraft, Raft, and Don't Starve Together. Also, I could relieve that itch to play something like Terraria. I needed something similar so I could experience that joy once again, the ecstasy of beating my first boss, of exploring, and of building. But it was never quite the same. Well, obviously you might say, they're different games. Well, yes, but technically, they did offer what I was looking for. Or what I thought I was looking for. The whole roguelike experience of dying and dying and learning more about enemies with each attempt, the aspect of adventure, the excitement of fighting a boss for the first time, getting absolutely clapped, and finally beating it on your 8th attempt. I was able to experience all that again, but it never truly satisfied me for some reason. Of course, that kind of worried me. I love those genres, I love those type of games. Why wasn't I having fun? Looking back, maybe it was just the mindset issue. Maybe it was just a mistake on my part. I knew I was tired of the game, and I thought I just needed something similar to relieve those joys again. But it never really occurred to me that maybe I was just tired of the genre as a whole. Maybe I just didn't want to play roguelikes or survival games anymore. But that thought just eluded me and I stubbornly kept trying to chase that high again, trying game after game, eventually exhausting every notable title in the genre. I was burnt out. I didn't even feel like playing games in general, which really worried me. How could I not want to play games? I've always been playing games. I was stuck in a rut, not knowing what to do to start enjoying again. That continued for a bit, until a friend and I agreed to try an MMO together, Final Fantasy XIV. Really? An MMO? I thought to myself. That's kind of outside my comfort genre, so to speak. Would I really enjoy it? I mean, I wasn't exactly a complete newbie to MMOs. Where I'm from, MapleStory was THE childhood MMO, the games that everyone played when they were younger. Well, its glory days are definitely over, and considering how the game is now, I don't know if I can ever recommend it. But from my experience with MMOs, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to an MMO grind. Nonetheless, we gave it a try, and I got completely hooked, dumping a good 2,000 hours into it. 
Well, the point here isn't that FF14 is a good game, even though it is. The point is, this kind of sparked a new turning point for me. Because I was so used to survival games and roguelikes, almost everything I experienced in Final Fantasy just felt so fresh, so new. In a way, I was experiencing the good things that other genres of games could offer me. That made me take a step forward and made me willing to try other games in genres I would have never imagined myself to play, just so I could see what they have to offer. I tried games known for being rather difficult, like Sekiro and Shifu, which I thoroughly enjoyed by the way, despite getting my butt kicked over and over and over again. I even tried going for the true endings. I also tried some colony games, base building games like Oxygen Not Included, Let's Build a Zoo, and Two Point Hospital. I was never good at those because I was absolutely horrible at micromanaging and foresight, but I did enjoy trying them out. Even meme games like Tabs and Trombone Champ were somewhat entertaining. Rhythm games like Just Shapes and Beats, A Dance of Fire and Ice, platformers like Celeste, RPGs like Monster Hunter, games like Plate Up, Overcooked, Dorf Romantic, Polybridge, Hollow Knight, Vampire Survivors. <sighs> well, you get the point. I had a new hunger to try out different games to see what each genre was about. Not horror though, I don't like horror. To be clear here, I didn't enjoy every single game I tried, but finally I had this excitement and the urge to play games again. So the time eventually came for me to face my fears once again. Could I play roguelites or survival games again without feeling bored? Could I rediscover the wonder that I had when I first played those games? So one day, I sat down, booted up Terraria, created a new world, made a new character, started my journey and quit after 5 minutes. So no, I still couldn't bring myself to play Terraria again, which is alright. At this point, I realised that there was nothing wrong with not being able to enjoy something that you so loved in the past. There is nothing wrong in moving on from a game. Would I still recommend people to play Terraria? Of course! It's a great game, wonderfully built, and it is sure to give players an amazing experience. I still love Terraria as a game, but it's just not for me anymore. And once again, that is okay. In my case, it might be a little more dramatic, because I've been making Terraria videos for a while, so I've kind of developed a strong aversion to it. But maybe Terraria wasn't the best example to put up front, because I did enjoy many other games again. Don't Starve Together felt really fresh even though I had put 400 hours into it before. Monster Hunter was kind of fun again, despite my 350 hours. Even the roguelikes were fresh and engaging. What I experienced there wasn't exactly that they felt new, but it did come pretty close, in a way. Specifically, what I really enjoyed were the moments where I had actually forgotten what a boss or enemy did, and when I fell prey to the mechanic or attack again, my brain had an aha moment. Oh yeah, they did that. I remember now. And at that key moment of remembering, oh, it was glorious. It was like being a kid again. It was as if I was experiencing the game for the first time again, even though I had seen the mechanic before. But that moment where you first remember, that moment where you remember how to deal with it, that feel pleasantly surprised when you still have the muscle memory for it, well, that, that truly is an amazing feeling. So, what's the conclusion? Almost everyone gets tired of a game eventually. Maybe you're one of the lucky few who doesn't and can dump 10,000 hours into a game. But for many of us, I don't think we can handle that. And if you find yourself stuck in a rut, bored of the games you're trying in the same genre, Maybe be a little adventurous and venture out into a genre you'd never think you'd enjoy. It's not that you don't love your precious roguelikes or survival games anymore, but maybe you just need a break. Something different to spice up your life. Humans love the familiar, but we also need variation and change. So, who knows, maybe you'll be able to find a new genre that you love, 
or you might be able to see your beloved games in a whole new light again. Well, that was a really long-winded way to say, go try out different games and genres, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I just really wanted to share my experience and what I thought and what I felt. Maybe my experience can help you in some way or another. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too. This has been Zuzucorn. Have a nice day and have a great week ahead. Bye bye.